si Liana. Talagang binabalikan nila yung um, setback nila in last uh, season 85 where they didn't even make the final four, which hasn't happened since season 72. So they're really back with a vengeance and wanting to get back to the final four. But Eliza Solomon will score first. And you would be surprised to know that it is their newfound love for solving the Rubik's Cube. You know, one player that I always see solving one was actually last game's standout player. And that Good first ball there. And Sulit is aggressive today. She's getting a lot of touches as well. Another chance here for Atenea to set up. Tax pushing it outside to De Guzman. Alin Sug playing awesome defense so far. But look at Roma, but that effort. We really have to see her pick up her game. Solomon from the right side. See one of the prized opposite hitters. And that spike up set brought to you by Duncan. Some confusion by uh, Eliza Solomon. That he didn't feel well also after uh, the departure of Robles. Mm -hmm. Or uh, actually, he shared it with the playing time on si Robles, who was the former. Etong in you, of course, whenever Solomon is in front, she get she gets a lot of sets, and even at the back row, oh. she gets to convert. <laughs> And that's interesting because Ateneo has not earned seven of those points. So clearly we need to see more action on the offense. But we got to commend really their blocking today. They have been putting up the block for practically everything that crosses the net. And Liza Solomon is on fire today now going down the line. AC Minor with that slide. Look at the pickup by Lamina there. Solomon will go again, and that's off the block. There's a check ball. Part of the donut hole of NU's defense is zone two. Solomon coming from the left side. Guys, at mula guys, Eliza, she is just having a heyday today. God, they almost beat NU also their last time out. It's those performances that they have to remember. Look at the width of Eliza Solomon. Rookie MVP, Bella Belen, with that classic jump serve. Good first ball there by Tsunashima. Uh, stuff next to the net. Miner saving that one. Solomon trying to get sneaky there. And Zell Tsunashima going up the block. <laughs> Casey Cortez on the court. She was the one with that dig earlier, and she is now calling the shots here for Ateneo. Coach Sergio shuffling things a little bit. Oh! And the other Libero couldn't handle Solomon either. Give them a win that's like a walk in the park. Mm. Well, that's a good serve. Good first ball there. Well, back to NU. Solomon will go up and easily through the two-man block. And Solomon will get the ball. As usual, connecting again or converting that uh, families of these players are, I think, the most excited during game days. Even the OFW parents were able to watch these games via Filipinas Live. Good serve. That was a tough one, even for J-Lo de los Santos, who's usually brought in at the back for her defense. And look at Eliza Solomon. Oh, make it back to back to back. <laughs> Three aces in a row for Eliza Solomon. And he makes for the right player to spark things off for his team. And that's Solomon from back row. Limit the options of Tax Fujimoto also on her sets. Solomon timing it. That one's into the net. So tao rin. Pero hindi. May black touch. But, uh, just to give our viewers sort of summary of what's been going on the past three sets. Ateneo's total running attack points right now is 24. That's all the same way that Alin Sug and Solomon had been doing for NU. Back row attack, Solomon. And this is a chance also for her to uh, to master also that pipe attack. 